time in the truck again. We've got this beautiful concoction here. We've got, what is in it? It is a can of white chicken, of course. Can of carrots. We got about a teaspoon of celery salt. About another teaspoon of the garlic pepper season grinder. A little bit of pinch of uh, basil leaves. And about a nice little, uh, oh, I think it's focus here. Squirt of pure Michigan honey. Yum, yum, yum. And a cup of water. And then because we're gonna do it over, roasted garlic potatoes. Sorry about the turbulence there. We are going down the road in Arkansas. Yay! So you might be asking, but Sam, those Idaho potatoes take two cups of water to make them. Well, we've heated up one cup of water in this while we were the last about 15 minutes before we got to our stop. And then we put it in here. And look at that, gorgeous dinner. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, I can't possibly finish this whole cake. Uh, yes, I can. Shut up, Carmen! You're gonna end up eating a steady diet of government cheese and living in a van down by the river. Hi, everybody. Today, we are going to do more cooking in the truck. And we're gonna get some barbecue sauce, and we've got some course our can of chicken and we're gonna put it up in the crock pot and we're gonna add some hot sauce and some chopped onions and some garlic powder and we're gonna just make some like barbecue sauce open face sandwiches okay well since we found out we're gonna be here for quite a while Sam and I have decided to say screw it and we're gonna get lunch going early or dinner lunch whatever so what Sam's doing here is she's going to take and drain off all the water well most of it from the can of chicken and if you all remember Emma, our cat, she would have been here by uh, about there, saying, gimme, 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 gimme. She would have heard the can opener sound. And she would have heard the can or the bowl. And then, as you can see, Sam is using, we recycle our Gatorade bottles and turn them into fluid holders. So what she's doing is she's draining off the water using a funnel and trying to be very careful. As you can see, I didn't finish my Gatorade. I'm a bad man. As you can see the experienced look on Sam's face as she contently squeezes the chicken. Which really sounds dirty. What are you doing? I'm squeezing the chicken. Oh, chicken. That's it. Squeeze it, Sam. Go. Okay, so after making Nick drink a chocolate milk really fast, cold chocolate milk is really hell on the indigestion system when it's first thing in the morning. Anyways. So as you can see, she's getting all of the juices. She is squeezing the chicken. Not choking it, squeezing it gently. What's next? That's it. I chugged that for that. You're really telling me this? Nope. I'm not saying a word. All right, back to Cheddar Vision. Here we are. I don't know why I turned that up. It's too noisy, it's too noisy. Okay. Okay, so Sam's now gonna put the chicken in the pot. Not the lotion on her skin. Put the chicken in the pot. Ooh, chicken in a pot. Now she's gonna break it up with her special spoon. She's beating her chicken. Okay. Next. We've got Great value, honey. Okay, but we're not gonna go too extreme. No. Not like the whole bottle. This was a small bottle I In our mad dash for shopping at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Squeeze it in there. That should be good. And I'm gonna suggest. Adding a little liquid. Now? Or put some spices in? We'll put some spices in there. Tell me when. When? That's good, that's good. Don't want to like, like blow the truck up. I hadn't even gotten any in there. You're like, when? I was watching it faster than you were. Yeah. That's good. Weisenheimer over here. 
get the right side this time. <laughs> and garlic pepper. Ah, that should be good. Way more than enough. That's good. What else? You said water. Just a little. If we had like an apple juice or something like that, I'd say I had a little of that, but just a touch. A little more. I know. Okay. I'll try stirring that up and see how. Okay. You don't want it too soupy, but you want it where it's like a soup. Chickens are already fully cooked. That's the nice part about it. You don't have to deal with trying you need to. Need a little bit it. more water because if you're gonna like warm it. Yeah. Oh, water. Stir that up. sandwiches. I think it'll work. Alright. Alrighty. And I've got the lid. Okay. Put it on there. We'll do it for about 30 minutes or so. We'll see how heated through it is. Good, baby. Smells good. Did a little water help, didn't it? Yeah. Perfect. I think it's time to eat. What do you think? Oh, let me stick my finger in it. Oh, yeah, that's one. Don't burn yourself. We can maybe leave it for a few more minutes. Okay, why don't we just leave it for a few more minutes? Okay. Alrighty. So now we've got it all done. Looks good. A little fit over there. I don't know. Now we got our bread on the plate. That's definitely enough. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, you gotta have some too. I know. Just gonna make a little half sandwich here. There you go. There we go. Have some chips with it. I can fold it in half. I'm old enough. <laughs> so where's the chips? You want poops? I guess. Put them on my plate. Don't be naughty. You don't fit on the plate very well, do you? There you go. There's Great. lunch. Boy, I've never seen you work so hard. <laughs> All right. That was so difficult. That's something to be a soggy one. So how is it? Take a bite. Jumpy, are we? <laughs> Worry about your cooking? It's food. Just to be nice, I'll even it out by eating you. <laughs> and that's lunch, everybody. <laughs> you definitely gotta get like hot dog bun, though, or something. Yeah. Probably. Because you can lay it down like a hoagie bun. There we go. Yeah. It's going. Is it already tore open a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Whoever said you can't eat good in the truck? Beer and cheese is like, it's almost probably like four bucks at a truck stop. Yeah. So, guys, gotta get something to drink, I'm good. Alright, we'll do that. Okay. I 
Bob Cheeto and I approve of this message. Oh, come on! What the hell?